Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel again and uh, this time we are going to make an original page on a piece of paper and this is an A4 size cardstock. Um, didn't know where I was, uh, what I was going to make um, with this page. I just took out some things and started um, creating. Um, I find it a bit difficult to uh, break a blank page and I know there are quite some videos out there who address uh, this problem but still I find it quite difficult so uh, I'm watching a lot of videos from you guys and you all get me inspired and with this page I thought to use and try a couple of things I had seen. So um, here I am gluing down some ephemera pieces I had in my stash with a Mod Podge and on top of that I had have glued uh, a piece of tissue paper uh, for more texture that is and now I'm adding a thin layer of gesso on top of that to tone down uh, all the bits and pieces that are on the page and now I am adding some uh, light grey acrylic paint from our talent as you see I've cut the bottle in the middle because it was almost uh, empty and I want to squeeze out every drop I can get from it so and I'm adding that with a baby wipe so it makes the page look kind of dirty and I took out my sewing machine and I stitched um, some on my page in a vertical line and uh, then I used different washi tapes uh, mostly in black and white to add to my page and I'm just putting some here and there so done with the washi tape and I've also added some rub-ons to the page and now I'm using a Tim Holtz stencil, the Flourish, and a modeling page based by Liquid Text to add uh, some more texture. And until this point, I actually had to leave it for a couple of days because. Uh, I just didn't know where to go with this page. I liked it so far with the dirty background and the stitches and the washi tape, but didn't know where to go from there. And it wasn't until this morning I thought, well, let's take that page out again and try and finish it. And I must say I am reasonably happy uh, with this. So now I am going to add some color and this is a homemade acrylic spray in a bright orange color and basically I've made some, um, I used acrylic uh, paint, sorry, uh, watered it down and then added to a spray bottle and then you have your acrylic sprays, very simple and uh, well once they dry they won't move again so I'm, uh, I like to work with these although the spray bottles aren't all that great uh, the ones I got that is so some splattering with the orange and also with white uh, sorry black and then I've cut out some uh, butterflies from some uh, left uh, uh, leftover scraps uh, I picked up paint uh, uh, with this piece of paper and I thought the green would uh, 
make a nice contrast with the orange and now I am um, painting the edges with the Faber-Castell artist pit pen and then I'm going to use my script stamp and the Stezan Yet Black to stamp on the butterflies as well. So deciding where to put them and then using, well I start using the tacky glue. I switch that to the Mod Podge I keep in a little uh, soft bottle uh, which easily uh, squeezes out the glue. So placing my butterflies and using my Faber-Castell artist pit pen to uh, make the butterflies uh, to add more detail and make them look a bit more like butterflies. And because I had no green on the rest of the page except for the butterflies, I thought I should balance that out. So I used uh, some uh, green acrylic paint, watered down acrylic paint, uh, to splatter uh, a bit more of the green. And this is a, a needle bottle uh, where I'm writing something like I'm growing and find my true colors. Adding the date and that's about it for my page. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because that really helps for people to find my channel. Um, thanks for watching and hopefully see you again next time. Bye bye.